Hey everyone, Joel Hans here. And today we're in Holloway,ville yes, Holloway,ville, Illinois, outside of the famous Tony's Butt Shack. Yes, Tony's Butt Shack, barbecue and catering. So Holloway,ville is a village of about 60 people, so it's super small. But this place is bumping. This place is incredibly, incredibly well known and a famous in the area for their barbecue. And they do like a Texas style barbecue, which I love. You know what I'm saying? Salt, salt, pepper, heavy smoke, oak and hickory. I love it. And what are we doing today, guys? Well, here we are doing the Tony's Butt Buster Food Challenge. Yes, I love that they have such a big banner of it. This is the home of the Tony's Butt Buster Food Challenge. So what is this challenge? Well, this challenge is a giant barbecue challenge. It consists of a pound of brisket, a pound of pulled pork. We have about a full rack of ribs. We have a smoked meatloaf sandwich. We have uh, some macaroni and cheese, a big, huge thing of macaroni and cheese. We have their uh, house made a very unique, I will say, deep fried potato salad. So we'll get you some info, more info about that. I know there's some cornbread. Um, I'm probably forgetting something. Somebody had the bright idea to try to double this, guys. So just take everything I said, times it by two. So we're talking, you know, over a hundred dollars of barbecue, 14 pounds, and let's just say it was a bad idea. So. I'll just get back to it. But long story short, like I said, ribs, brisket, pulled pork, lots of delicious items. I love barbecue, it's my favorite style of food. And this kind of style of barbecue is absolutely my favorite as well. Um, so like I said, the place is super well known. For the challenge, we are gonna have 45 minutes to complete it. If we do, we get the meal for free. It's about a $54 meal, I believe. And if we fail, we have to pay for the meal. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So we're in the quest for a free meal. Again, 45 minutes, giant barbecue platter. It was recently done by our good friends, Mr. Randy Centel and Katina Eats kilos so yeah guys but like i said excited to be back in illinois it's been a little while so uh, let's head in let's have some of these food and let's go get eating Hi everyone so here we are with the first challenge yes the first challenge that is correct somehow we are doubling this today and i am honestly incredibly incredibly nervous they weighed this out this is legit seven pounds and we have another legit seven pounds coming guys i am i'm i'm honestly i'm very nervous to be honest i haven't eaten something this big in a long time I'm scared, let's be honest. Like I said, said that five times, so I'm rambling. You can tell I'm nervous. Uh, that being said, we will have 45 minutes each challenge. I'm gonna start this one, and then I'm gonna go, they're gonna start the second one, so it's nice and hot. But again, we have the brisket, which looks awesome, all the delicious ribs, huge thing of macaroni and cheese, huge things of this deep fried potato salad, which is super cool. It's actually more like kind of like a hash brown slash American fry. And then they put in this really cool mayonnaise. Um, the deep, not deep fried, we have the smoked meatloaf sandwich. Looks, looks really cool. Huge slab of meatloaf on there. Two cornbread muffins, pulled pork. The current record for the challenge is 27 minutes and 40 seconds. Not that I'm necessarily chasing any records, but just for the record. And then do have all their sauces. We have the uh, moonshine sauce, which Smells really good, smells very hearty. You can smell the alcohol in it. We have the sweet and tangy, you know, I'm all bad at that stuff. We got a Carolina vinegar style, I like that as well. And then we have the classic, the traditional. They make all the sauce here as well. All right, everyone, so I might as well get started. I'm gonna stop stalling. Like I said, I'm very nervous for the next chapter of this challenge, we'll say. So uh, everybody, wanna help me give you a countdown? Maybe we'll say the count of five, four, three, two, one. Let's see. Mmm. Ooh. Good sauce. Mm -hmm. All right. Taste the wood. Mm. Nice texture. Mm. Really good. Nice and meaty rib. Which I definitely enjoy. And they finish them with their traditional sauce. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna have to keep a reasonable pace. Cause I'm gonna need for that second one. I'm nervous. Sorry. 
With that being said, first bites are awesome. I love it. I definitely want to try this vinegar sauce. I'm on, I'm on a big vinegar sauce kick. Mm. Oh yeah. Hey everyone, welcome to Zerdo. Today we are here at Tony's Butt Shack. Yes, Tony's Butt Shack. Taking on their Butt Buster Challenge. And I think our butt was going to be busted. We'll put it that way. I gotta say though, lo awesome names. Let me know down below if you like the names of the challenge and the place. I, I think they're awesome. Um, so here we have the first, yes, the first seven pound barbecue platter. Somehow we got the bright idea to try to do two of these challenges. So we had the second one being prepared for us. And here we had the first one. So guys, all of my favorites, brisket, we had ribs, we had pulled pork, and it was delicious. Let's go, Randy. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, Randy. <laughs> we need some eat music. Close enough, close enough. <laughs> Uh, that was awesome. Let's get to this brisket, guys. Looks like a very nice, delicious, juicy looking brisket. I have this propped up so you guys can see it off camera a bit better. Mmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. Very moist. In addition, we had the uh, meatloaf sandwich, which was very, very large, as we mentioned. Cornbread little muffins, the mac and cheese, the um, deep fried potato salad, which I was hoping to get to try because it was the most interesting thing. Like, I had never heard of a side dish like that before. And this was like the lean part of the brisket, but look how delicious that is. Mm. Very good. I do love brisket. In fact, I eat animals. I'm wearing the shirt, the, the hat right now. Let's go check out Julie's.com, grab yourself some merch. So this place is located like just off the major highways um, in Hollowayville, which like we said is a super, super small village. It's like 60 some people, but this place is always full. So I don't know if the people like come from the neighboring communities or everybody comes here, um, but I will say really cool spot. It was a great uh, showing and uh, the food was really, really good. Great hospitality. I want to try some of these other sauces, but I haven't had a, a reason to yet. It's just flavored great. I'll try it on the pulled pork. So this was gonna be the first time that I tried to eat anything over 12 or 13 pounds in a very, very long time. All right, this is the moonshine. First try by itself. Mmm. Oh yeah. I love pork butts in a can out loud. <laughs> Tastes really good though, seriously. All right, let's try this. Oh wow. You really do get that like, a little bit of bite of the alcohol in there. It's cooked off, but like that, I don't know, like brandy-ish flavor. I don't know how to describe that. Like a chocolate liqueur in a way, but it's really nice. Mm. Honestly, you know, it reminds me like a whiskey barbecue sauce. Very good. I'll try the sweet and tangy. That pork in general is fantastic, the pulled pork. Hmm. Lots of pepper in that one. Good though. And I knew this challenge was gonna be a real struggle. This is so much food. Even just the one challenge, you know, the one version of seven pounds is a lot of food. About seven-ish minutes in. I'm regretting ordering two of these. <laughs> you can do it. Thank you. Thank you for it. I'll need to believe. It's a lot of a lot of food. And I try this smoked meatloaf with a smoked good on as well. Mm. I know they put a beef and a sausage in it. Now, sausage makes it like a, that's a great addition. That's really good. 
So tune on in to watch me die with this attempt. Um, but great food, great place. Um, that's pretty much the majority info I have for you today. So with that, let's get to the rest of the video. It's funny to say, but I almost just tried to grab that barbecue sauce so as I can take a drink of it. About eight and a half minutes done. Let's try this deep fried potato salad. Mmm. Wow. That was pretty good. I definitely didn't know what to expect. But it's super rich, super creamy. I mean, anything with fried potatoes is generally hard to go wrong with that. Mmm. I like this a lot. It's going pretty quick because everything is just cooked perfectly back. No shortage. We just got the second one arrived. Is it all, is all dirty? I guess you could leave it under the warmer for another second maybe. Might I put it under for a yeah, second? Yeah, sure, might as well. Won't make much difference, but a little bit. Gotcha. Oh. All right, now stuff gets real, everybody. Excuse me. Like I said, this second one is gonna kill me. Excuse me. Comments of the chef, this first one was enjoyable. That deep fried potato salad though, I'm gonna take a second to appreciate that. Out of this world. Somebody said that this is just like an appetizer for you. I posted on Facebook. Not true. Thank you. All right, everybody. All right, we're done the first one. Woo. All right, so just over 13 minutes, 13 something. Thank you. Now the second one, guys. This is where I die. The fun starts, but I die. This is gonna be real hairy. This is, uh, it's big. It's big. I know they weighed everything out, so I trust them, but I'm just saying, this one to me looks bigger than the, than the other one. Again, there's no funny business going on, but. Oh, probably just my my eyes are now, uh, uh, excuse me, caught up to the rest of me. Uh, oh, excuse me. Definitely need to get some of that air out. So let's get rocking and rolling, guys. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is just, yeah. Fall off the bone. Mm. Nothing is better than fresh, hot food. Mm -mm. Who ever thought doing two of these? I don't know who thought about that, but. <laughs> don't ever do what they do. <laughs> these aren't tasty. I love how we have a full restaurant. It's so quiet. It's, it's actually, it's actually just impressive. People are just like watching me, like, what is going on here? I don't blame you. Thank God for God. Need Jesus today. 
Thank you for Diet Coke, thank you for sweet tea and all that good stuff. So let's keep on rocking. Mm. Oh my gosh, guys, woo! Where this brisket is so hot, they don't sat around for a while for photos. This is just so tender, so juicy. Oh my gosh, yes! Woo, woo, woo! Mm. Oh man! Mm. Guys, this is better than the first time around. <laughs> wow! That is amazing. Things just keep getting better. Mm, mm, mm. Woo! Boy, that doesn't mean I ain't getting full. But hot damn! Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Man, I love animals. That fatty brisket, guys, that brisket was on point. No pun intended, it was the point, you get it? But no, seriously, it was delicious. Mm -mm -mm. Back to the pulled pork. Woo! Thank you, my friend. Mm -hmm. Let's keep it rocking and rolling, guys. Coming up in 1840 by 1850. Some good butts. I mean, who doesn't like butts? Let me know down below if you like butts. Hashtag butts. Pork butts, of course, pork butts. <laughs> Somebody at one point mentioned dessert. <laughs> Forget that. This 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 is freaking dessert. Mm. How would you like to wash down your first seven pounds of barbecue? I'll take seven more. So, said no one ever. And they shouldn't ever say that either. All right, round two, everybody. Meatloaf sandwich. Oh, thank you. It's delicious, but like I said, guys, it is such a big piece of meatloaf on it. The first time I was just impressed how big it was. This time I'm like dreading it. You gotta get, you gotta get portion nonetheless. Lady said I was a beast, but maybe I'm just stupid. One or the other. <laughs> a little bit of both. I'm just kidding. Judge free zone. Yeah. Thank you. Coming on 26 something, almost 26 and a half. Last bite of this little meatloaf sandwich. Then just all the sides and the cornbread. Woo. Slowly but surely, slowly but surely. I'm trying. Roughly about 12 pounds in. That's incredible. Oh. What I should have tried to do is go to the bathroom before this, I'll tell you that one. <laughs> Let's just say the bar. Let's, 
Let's just say the body's like, yo, we should make some room. <laughs> Not right now, body. Hold on. Oh, boy. Mm. I still am impressed by the flavor of this freaking deep fried potato salad, though. It's awesome. I think somebody said I'm not even sweating. <laughs> this doesn't mean I'm not dying. <laughs> Macaroni and cheese is actually good too. It's a great flavor of the cheese sauce. And that's coming from a guy that is eating X amount of food for the last 30 minutes. So, you know, it's pretty good when, when somebody like that says it. Oh, there we go. Thank you, God. A little room to start another one real quick. Next time I'm in Holloway, Hollowayville? Yes. Next time I'm in Hollowayville. Oh boy. Fun fact. Somebody mentioned that I wasn't sweating. I've been in 105 degree weather. I never sweat from my forehead. I don't know if I just don't have sweat glands there or what. Other places I sweat. Fun fact, I'm actually cold right now from drinking all these liquids. The meat sweats will come later. What'd you say? He said, how are you doing this? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's a great question. Will, determination, and stupidity. <laughs> Like 35 minutes in there, buddy. Now I feel great. <laughs> that being said, only got a couple bites left. Oh. And I got a burp coming out of me at some point. To be continued. Corn muffins. <laughs> Still shout out that fried potato salad. But man, that stuff is rich. Especially after 13 pounds of other stuff. <laughs> oh, all right. That burp is coming. At some point.
Ah, last bite, everybody. <laughs> And we are done. Yeah! So that everybody, we did it in 38, 39, some more minutes, whatever time it was right. I gotta say that was uh, that was a lot of food. I'll put it that way. It was a long, a long time since I ate that much in one sitting, and that was tough. That was really tough. Anytime I eat, guys, for like you know anything more than 30 minutes, you know something's up. You know, it's tough, but I gotta say a huge thanks to everybody here at Tony's Butt Shack. Thanks everybody, give it up for that. <laughs> the staff has been super, super cool. Tony and his family who work here, it's a family operated business. They've been awesome. They were uh, super authentic. Like I said, they weighed everything out. There was no funny business here. I really appreciate the honesty, the transparency. If you do want to try it, you don't need a reservation. You just come in and order it basically. So yeah, but be prepared to eat seven pounds of food because that's a lot. Um, I would not recommend ever trying to do two of these. Arguably, personally, I would never recommend eating one of these, but if you want to, you know where to come. But definitely come grab yourself a meal. It was really, really delicious. I gotta say, what I was so, 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 so shocked about was how delicious that deep fried potato salad was. Excuse me. I gotta say, super surprised about that. Man, I got a burp. It's gonna come. I didn't know like exactly what to expect from it, but it was like super delicious, basically hash browns with a delicious, delicious, delicious kind of cayenne mayone mayonnaise dressing. Super impressed. Everything was good. I think when it came to the meats, my favorite was probably the brisket and the pulled pork. But the ribs and the meatloaf, all of them are all fantastic. Really, really good. I like that the meatloaf had that sausage and it really give that kind of cured, nice flavor to it. Um, so for that, we do get both meals for free. So about $106 value. Our name will be up on the wall of fame. Um, actually already is for the first the, the, for the first completion. So they're on point today. And uh, yeah, that was a lot of food. So until next time, everybody. Have a lovely day. Say happy healthy hungry, happy eating. Do not ever do what I do. Just just don't. Like really just do not. And uh, that was it. Thank you everybody for coming out. Appreciate you guys. And I don't really even know what else to do. I'm uh I don't I really don't even know what to do. My uh Let's just say my mental clarity is not all there right now. So as you can tell, so uh, I don't know. I'm just gonna breathe. That's the st good thing to start with. I've heard breathing is a required necessity of life. So I'm gonna start with that and we'll go from there. So that that everybody, I appreciate you. Hollowayville, you've been great. Till next time, have a lovely day. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe, yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much, you rock.